Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strada Hadoop World in San Jose. I'm here with Eddie Garcia. Eddie, how you doing? Pretty good. How about you? Good. So you're the chief security architect for Cloudera. Exactly. So you have a really interesting job of, of, of trying to make things safe for companies. Is that in its essence what you do? Yeah, so being able to add security features into the Hadoop platform that will enable organizations to put their data securely in it, the credit card data or patient healthcare uh, type information. So we see all types of different verticals having different types of security requirements and being able to meet those. So I have a dual-edged question here. So a lot of large companies have really important assets in their data, like names and credit card numbers and, and things like that that are important to protect. Is that making them move to a data first platform slower or are they moving too quick and and putting their customers at risk? What, what do you see is happening here? Well, I think uh, from the competitive nature that a lot of organizations are moving very fast. Unfortunately, some of them are moving too fast and not putting all the security controls in place from the beginning. So that's how a lot of systems end up into uh, production environments with potentially some areas that maybe have gone vulnerable that should have been checked off before. So we, we've seen some uh, security breaches in, in large companies around the world, in different companies. What, what, what would you tell a CIO that's been through something like that they need to do? Uh, retrospectively, what do they need to do? Well, I think uh, really putting the importance of security from the start. So when you put security from the start, you're basically making sure that you're putting all the controls in place from when you're going in the development stage into the testing phase and not waiting until then. So once you have those security controls from the start, you are really reducing your risk and making sure that you're taking advantage of all the new features that are available in technology. A lot of the times, it's just a misconfiguration. So being able to address that. The other part is the aspect of the roles that people uh, have access to within the data. So it's it's always the best practice to only, as needed, uh, permissions to data. Sometimes we brought things and, oh, we trust everyone, so everyone has per permissions to everything. Well, it shouldn't be that way. You need to be able to separate, see what exactly uh, types of data you need to see, and set the roles to match that. So are there any industries that are more um, vulnerable, or uh, and are there any industries that are more aware, or heightened sense of security? So I'd say probably the industry that's more um, hide it or that understands better the security and been more proactive in it has been probably the healthcare industry. So because of uh, HIPAA, HIPAA, we yeah. see a lot of the, that industry being really used to be more self-regulated, to making sure that not only they're checking uh, the boxes on the regulation, but they're actually doing the best that they can to secure the data. As far as uh, industries that are more uh, vulnerable, uh, I think all industries that alike uh, have um, the uh, vulnerability. So in my keynote session today, I talked about uh, open data. So you would think that open data, well, it's open, anyone can see it, that it should doesn't need security controls. But actually, if we start to rely our systems on open data, then you can actually breach open data to cause uh, some other attack. So, so even that type of data needs to be protected. So really, there's no industry, I think, that can go out go without uh, securing the data. Is, is there is there an industry vertical that, that needs to move quicker? Uh, do, do we see, is retail, uh, I mean, I think that, that hits everyone and we're all hyper aware of it, but is there an industry that needs to move quicker towards understanding security needs to be upfront before they even build their data architecture? Yeah, so the Cloudera platform has been the first that's uh, PCI certified for uh, credit card data. So I think uh, that's being the first and only one today, I think there's a lot of industries that need to be able to catch up on that part. So the technology exists, uh, we can do it, so I think other industries that are planning or wanting to use uh, credit card data within their big data platform that they could they can start to uh, move faster. So does Cloudera offer like um, your partners uh, security solutions? Like, I mean, do you, do you go in and consult on here's how to build your architecture and here's security right up front? Yeah, so uh, actually the, I came to Cloudera through an acquisition last year, a company named Gazank, and that uh, we focused on big data security, uh, encryption and key management. That entire office now in Austin is our security center of excellence, so we have people that are dedicated just to security. Uh, we have people out in the field with professional services that are able to understand the security needs and take them through not only the technology part of configuring your 
system to be secure, but also the human part, being able to go through the process, understand that people can uh, should be more uh, conscious of security when how when they're setting up permissions or when they're setting up users. So so we go through that with them and be able to meet some of the longer processes of of going through a compliance. Uh, uh, a certification. Not to do the David Letterman top 10 in reverse order, but what would you say are the top couple things that organizations need to address to be more secure with their data platforms? Well, first and foremost, it, security needs to be a priority from the top down. So it needs to be a priority at the C level, at the board level, to understand that some of these breaches uh, can, take, can have a very... Uh, big impact to their actual uh, financials. I mean, things that we saw with uh, Target, with Home Depot, I mean, now with Anthem. So these uh, can cause huge damage financially for our organization. So it needs to be a security a priority from the top and before it actually is a breach. Deployed. Right. Yeah, so yeah. so I think that's where you start. And then once you have that culture to understand the security's priority, then that can uh, be pushed down to make sure that projects are not moving too fast, that you're making sure that you have all the controls in place. So I think that's uh, uh, really the, the, the key message there. And I think also the security professionals within that organization, they also need to make sure that they're empowering their users of business, that make sure that sometimes is, well, we don't want to involve security because they're going to shut us down, so we want to, you know, kind of work here on the side in the shadows uh, off the radar for now. But actually, and that's uh, also on the side from the, the security uh, team. They need to be able to reach out to those here and say, hey, we're going to help you out. We're going to help you put in those uh, security controls so your project can move faster, so you're not uh, being, uh, have those challenges for them when you want to go into production and you fail an audit. So let's fast forward 12 months from now. Are we going to see more security breaches, more large companies uh, in the news because they lost their customers' data or they were you know, exposed? Or are we going to see fewer because the data companies are becoming wiser about security needs to be up front? That's a great question. So 2014 is uh, threw out some numbers that I read a report. There was uh, over one billion records breach. That's an average of more than one million records a day. So one of the questions that I asked in the audience today at the keynote was who had actually had their uh, information disclosed, received an email. Basically, yeah. pretty much everyone was raising their hand. Yeah. And when, then I also asked, you know, okay, so those that don't know, do you think it's just that it's been breached but you don't know? And I think everyone kind of agreed that that's the case. And that's a really bad state that we're in. That, you know, we just uh, are, you know, understand that that's the kind of cost of technology and living is to have your information so vulnerable to being exposed. So are all the all the big part players here, are they hyper aware that security needs to be baked in and up front and, and, and that's first and foremost for this industry to grow? Some organizations are very conscious. That we, we're starting to see a lot of industries that understand the importance and and they're taking really proactive measures uh, to ensure the privacy of the data, how they're using the data. Um, so we see a lot of industries, but at the same time, there's a lot of industries that are first and foremost focused on getting the business value. And you know, business have to you know make money. So it's it's you know reducing risk. There's never a, a complete solution. There's nothing that's perfect. The data will be vulnerable at some point, but it's about reducing the risk. So what I uh, talked about today. In the keynote is the concept of secure by default data. So, you know, people think about secure by default systems. Well, this is secure by default data, making sure that when the data is being created, it's created with properties that allow it to secure it. So that's as it goes from system to system, as it's basically being uh, transformed, as it goes from, a, for example, a medical device going to an actual uh, record in a hospital, making sure that across the way that all the security controls are in place on the data when it was actually created. So that's, um, I think, once we start to get to being enab enabling uh, security properties on the data, it would be a lot easier for industries to start to adopt it. Right now, um, it's about uh, locking down systems, uh, putting uh, data away. We want to be able to share it more and uh, being able to share it with, for example, with open data and do it in a way, though, that you, it, you're ensuring the confidentiality and the integrity of the data when you are uh, sharing it. Excellent. Eddie, I hope next year when we have this conversation we can hear there's fewer breaches <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will be making a difference for everyone. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. I think. Uh, 
security, uh, there's a lot of security awareness, there's a lot of uh, companies here talking about security. I think it's uh, with these number of breaches and the cost for organizations, it's going to get the importance that it needs to be able to reduce that number and reduce the risk. Excellent. Thank you, Eddie. All right. Thank, thank you. you.